There are a few bigger names in New Zealand racing than Sir Peter Vella. He's bred and raced some of New Zealand's greatest champions, but his affection for the horse extends well beyond the racetrack. We thought we'd show you some of the yearlings and some of the horses that keep them company. Uh, you'll see a lot of these sort of old th things that you'll wonder what on earth they're doing, but they all serve a wonderful purpose and, uh, and enjoy their retirement. Okay, so here's the first, uh, first off, there's uh, one of the yearlings that we're preparing for the sale. And uh, this is a mare that Laurie Laxon trained for us. She won the thousand guineas. She's about 27 or, or so now, but she's as uh, healthy and mobile as she was uh, 24 years ago when she won the thousand guineas. She's a lovely mare. She always has something under her care and uh, looks forward to the feed bin as much now as she did as a racehorse. So what does that care entail? How does she provide that? Well, if you put two yearlings in together, they're going to race each other until one of them has an accident. They can't resist it. She'll bring a little bit of sense and sensibility. And whilst she was just as silly as a fold yearling, uh, two-year-old and three-year-old, um, she's, she's just grown up here now. She's, uh, um, if there's a sudden thunder or lightning storm, they just bring a sense of uh, security to, to them. It's not just mares that we use as the guardians. We've got old racehorses that have been, you know, raced in Australia, Singapore, all over and, and come home and uh, we find a, a use for them. I think you couldn't stay in this game as long as uh, we have and, and wanted to do it unless you have a, 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 a deep and genuine affection for the animal. I find it hard to understand how people couldn't. See, Ethereals takes pride of place, the bronze. She was number 13, drawn 13. Always a pleasure to come down to visit these ones. This we have the matriarch of the farm, the mighty Ethereal, born 1997, 22 this year, and uh, very happy in her retirement, as you can see. She did all that we could have ever asked of her. She, she won the, the Oaks in Queensland. Uh, she then went to the Caulfield Cup. She won the Caulfield Cup and, uh, to, and on to the Melbourne Cup and won that as well. So, and then came back in the autumn and won the BMW. We've got um, horses here whose names I don't know, but who, who, who we are providing a, a home uh, for their retirement. And they deserve it and I'm sure that there are thousands like us that do exactly the same thing. This mare, she's the oldest mare on the farm. She was born here 30 years ago. Uh, she left here and went and raced in Australia. David Hayes trained her. She won a couple over there. Called Karen Bell. She's been a brood mare. She's retired from that. She's come home and she's now a nurse maid for those foals that have been reared by the bottle rather than on a nurse a mare. Uh, her job is just to, to be motherly and, uh, and maternal to them. She, she's just looking her age a little, but when you're 30 and a, and a mare that's had a full career, I think she looks marvellous. There has been a, a little bit of chat recently around the use of the crop or the whip, which depending on how you like to phrase it. What's your view on that? I'd be very happy without it. Um, I'd be very happy, the, the whip has to be carried by a rider from the issue of safety um, and that is um, unequivocal. But I think racing, the best horse will win every time um, if they don't get a flogging in the process. I'm sure of it. It's changing, everything's changing. We need to change with it. There is nothing more certain in racing in the world than it will be banned at some time. Going forward, what would you like to see for racing in New Zealand? I'd like to see more and more people get to enjoy this wonderful game like I have. I think it can happen. We have to help and we have to um, uh, all put our shoulder to the wheel and, and it can happen.